had a good supply of clean water. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. I just want to trade a few things. Sure. Got work to do. Can't talk now. Yeah. Painting a huge sign on their front door. Rob. Go away. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Let's go meet the boss. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Edward said you needed to talk to me before he hired me? Yes. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Wow. Someone cared for this place. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. I'm really just here about the job. I'm sorry if I'm rattling on. I sometimes forget not everyone finds these things as compelling as I do. I'll leave you to Edward. He'll be your immediate supervisor. But remember, 
I'd love to chat more about this when matters are not so pressing. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. That was interesting. Huh. <laughs> Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? I hope you have more to go on than that. Don't worry. I don't expect you to do the impossible. Not on your first day. You should start at Parson State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I'm out of here. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Place is more a museum than home. is in charge. This place is off limits. You'd best... Right. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new guy. So this package... Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey. Be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out.
Edward for is not to keep the family safe. I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not a Mother, place is more Edward a museum. Edward has better things home. to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I can't bear to think what might be happening to Imogene right now. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? So did you find out what happened to the courier? I can't believe you Just some raiders that ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now... As far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? You shouldn't indulge her in. It just makes it more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speak. Yes. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Okay, I'll start in Good Neighbor.
Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Hey. Entertainments down the stairs. Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Excuse me, I just wanted to stop by. Offer my services again. Oh, no. You get the hell away from me, Sin. I'm not telling you anything what? about Buddy. Just so Another you can one snatch Mercs looking for Sorry you feel that way. He's in the back room. If you ever change your mind, be more than happy to help you bring Buddy home. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, miss. Why, hello. Did you like the song? I love the song. It was perfect. Ah, there ain't nothing like real jazz. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My. I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer. I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Are you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. I just need to know where she is. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones, always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Imogene, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fella. You're blocking my light, man. Enjoy your stay. Hello, I hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the community.
here to learn about our movement? I'm looking for a woman named Emma Jean Cabot. Do you know her? Oh, Emma Jean. Yeah, you'd better talk to Brother Thomas about that. That's it. Anyone asks, just uh, say you lost your key. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? Sorry, my mistake. I'll be on my way. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. You should talk to Brother Thomas. Hi. Welcome, to join neighbor. Our We're always glad to see a new face around here. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I don't want whatever you're selling. I'm not selling anything, neighbor. I'm giving away the secrets of long life, happiness, and prosperity. Giving them away. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? Yes, I am. All right, then. Fantastic. You won't regret it, I promise you. We haven't had a single pillar leave the movement since we started. <coughs> don't worry. I don't fight. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. All righty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job. Welcome. Getting to welcome new members into our movement. I hope you decide to change your life today. There you are. Just a few things to take care of before you're an official pillar of the community. All righty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own and I'll initiate you as a first-level pillar of the community. Not a lot of situations where stripped down to your socks is the right course of action. I can tell this ain't one of them. You've got to be kidding. You want me to give you everything I have? The first step is the hardest, neighbor. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road towards your future health, wealth, and happiness. Don't you think that's worth a small, temporary sacrifice? I've changed my mind. I don't want to join after all. No, sorry. I'm afraid we're past that point. You really do need to give me everything. Now. I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. Ah. You're not worth the trouble. Plenty of easier marks. Get out of here before I change my mind. Welcome. <laughs> we don't have anything to talk about.
Edward, switch to single sideband modulating. Can you hear me? Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Ching now. How's this? Oh, 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 that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah! There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. I don't need... What's going on? Right now, thank That was you. Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Let's go. Good. I'll explain on the way. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. 